Morning. I'm at a type, a type, no, I'm at a time in the filming where I don't know if this is in the same vlog of the previous stuff or if this is a new vlog because uh, I don't want it to be too long because the current vlog that I'm editing right now, I'm so behind, is already really long and I don't want to make it so long that you can't watch them all. So anyways, I'm awake. It's still early. The, the other people are going to be here this morning. So I'm going to go see if I can finish a little bit more on there. Uh, I had to do some uh, little bit of mudding and stuff. And I want to be able to prime that and then paint it. And I got to do that before the other folks get here. All right. So that is mud. I need to sand that. Uh, this wall over here. Oh, those are both dry now. I can cut that in so that it looks good. I'm not a painter, so hopefully it looks good. I'm gonna try my best. The toilet's going there, so it'll be much easier if I paint that without a toilet being in the way. The lines people are coming today too, so I'm not sure when they're coming compared to Rory, or the Rory's the plumber, if you remember him from previous vlogs. The linesmen are the people who locate the gas and the water and electric. They said they can't really locate the water all the time because of uh, ABS and stuff. Uh, can't find that with a metal detector, which makes sense because ABS is plastic. So uh, I'm going to try to get as much of this done as I can before I get here. <laughs> I just looked at my wrist to see what time it was. It is probably 7 or 7.30 ish in the morning. So we will get uh, this we're gonna see. I don't know. I also have to caulk these. That's a that's the main thing that I want to do. So uh, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna start getting to work. Everything is done, more or less, and uh, just as we finish, uh, besides the caulking, Rory calls me and he's like, hey man, I had too many, I have a lot of emergency calls, not too many. Uh, he's, a, he's a really good contractor, he's actually really awesome to have work uh, in my house. Um, but he is running a little behind, so he's actually going to come tomorrow, which actually frees up time for me, because I am going to... Last vlog, I'm assuming this is the next vlog. Uh, the last vlog, I was doing that one house client work at that house. I'm gonna go do that uh, after the, the line guys get here. They also just called me. So everything is falling into place and I'll be able to finish this up uh, without the big huge rush because Rory's gonna come tomorrow. Then I'm gonna head over to Red Deer, uh, which is that city that I was in two or three vlogs ago? I don't even remember now. It's actually the one that I'm editing right now. <laughs> uh, I gotta go head back to Red Deer and get that auger that I think I mentioned in that vlog. But anyways, there's an auger there that I'm gonna get, the postal auger. I should've got it when I was there, but I didn't because I thought I could borrow one from someone, but no one has one that I know. So I'm gonna head out there. I just saw the line guys through the patio window here. So I'm gonna go out and meet them. So where I live, we have what's called second call or second click, and they basically locate all your lines. You have to pay for them, but there's a first click and first call that you can also get, and they, they get your gas, which we already got, if you can see the yellow flags back there. So I'll see if I can start my bobcatting, skid steering behind the shop here right away. All right, so the line 
finder guys, whatever they're called, the second click guys, they came and they marked up uh, all my gas and stuff and man, they're really bad at drawing birds. And they drew them all over the place. Yellow ones, orange ones, and red ones. But my main uh, concern was behind the shop here. So beyond this area, they scanned it uh, they scanned a couple other areas just because I was curious and there's nothing to be uh, concerned about. Uh, now at least I know where my gas is so if I want to run plumbing underground it has to be below eight feet below frost line here uh, then I can do it in this area I can kind of know where it is they gave me a little diagram that's all good so now I can get on the horn with Brian and tell him that I can get him out here anytime he can come out here uh, but for now I better get uh, on the other client's house and then off to Red Deer because uh, that's going to take all up, take up the, all the rest of the day here. I just finished editing while they were doing this. I finished editing uh, my my next 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 vlog, so that took forever. It's over an hour long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. To you, it's in the past. To me, it hasn't been uploaded yet. It's just doing its uh, exporting or whatever off the program. Doesn't matter. Anyways. I'm on my way. I, got, I can't take the co-pilot with me this time. He's got to go inside. Too long of a ride for him to sit in such a small truck. He'll be uncomfortable. Come here, buddy. See you later, pal. All right, so everything seems to be good and dry. If you recall the last vlog, it was not drying. These ridges that I didn't catch and then uh, Give it a final skim coat and it'll be good for uh, a good sand um, probably tomorrow, but I'll probably do it the next day just so I'm not waiting for things to dry just in case. Uh, I might go up to Alex and do something in his store, probably skimming, to be honest. As always even in a garage so a garage you don't have to take so much care in it as long as the client agrees uh, because it gets damaged very easily you don't take care of it like you do a house for the most part but you still have to get your three ways nice so you just take some time to get them all looking nice and sharp and tight and then you can move on to all the other ones Alright, now that I'm done in here, I'm going to do in the basement. That's the most important part of this project. If I was smart, I would have done this one first and then went to the garage and did the garage and then came back out and did a little, uh, I call it a fisheye plug, which all these fish eyes that are in here that are showing up, once this packs up a little bit, I can wipe it again and it'll cover all the fish eyes and it's much better for sanding. This is the last skim. That is the procedure that I use. So now I'm going to have to work a little tighter. That's okay. Okay, so when you have all your mud on there, you got it. I have it pretty tight. You can see there's some clumps and lines and stuff. But I take the uh, convex, wait, whichever the one never goes like this. And I tighten it up against the wall and I take almost everything off and that'll cover every uh, fish eye. Go to the next, go to the next. And since this wall was primered first, that also helps with fish eyes. But if you're very tight like this and very deliberate, you should be able to get rid of all the fish eyes and have a very smooth uh, mudding. So this is just a flat right here, and that's a flat and a butt, I guess. But then this butt over here, to do that, you kind of do the same thing. So go hard, steep angle, follow 
your line all the way across and it should be nice and tight. Now it takes a little bit of practice to get used to it, but you should be able to do it with a little practice. There, there's no deviations in this at all that you can see with the naked eye. With a light, you would be able to see. It's kind of dark down here, but I think you get the point. So this little bit right here, bam. Good, so that's a speaker hole right there. Uh, usually you don't put them in a frost wall, but they did, so. It is what it is, but yeah, there we go. Oh, let's get that right there. There we go, so I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes, and then I'm going to check back on it just to make sure that all the fish are still in there, and then I'll wipe it again with just a little bit of mud, if there is. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a bit. All right, so five minutes later, I'm looking at it. I can put my hand over it. That's how smooth it is, and almost dry it is. Of course they also have, have had a fan on it the whole time. This looks like it has no fish eyes in the areas I was having problems with fish eyes. And as it dries you can start seeing like the deviations and stuff. I probably can't see it on camera but you can see all the ridges and stuff because there are still ridges there. They're just very tight. Yeah, this is good to go. I'm off to Red Deer now. Okay I made it to Red Deer. Got the auger. If you remember this beauty from the last vlog, which I'm exporting right now still, it'll be on YouTube soon. This won't matter to you because it'll be in the, my past, your past probably as well. Uh, this beauty here, 10 inch auger, you could choose between the 6 and the 10. I took the 10, that way I'll have uh, room for crush to go around the post that I'm going to put in the ground. It's perfect. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that thing. Uh, check out what Landon's been working on. So make sure you follow him. I put his link and stuff in the other video. I'll put it in this video as well. Remember the uh, the coffee table that we built? I wonder if it's sold. I don't know because of it's still a present for me. But check out this thing that he made. Or is working on, I should say. So this is like a abstract nest or something? Or how would you describe this? It's, that's what it is. It's a nest. It's an abstract nest. It's, uh, these are all the scraps from the deer cutouts and the soul train signing. Oh, there's a star. Okay. And you plan on painting this? I don't know. I'm going to weave some wire and stuff through it. Like, so the wire looks like twine. Like there's the twine in there. Okay. And then... Uh, Giant eggs? Yeah. Yeah? How do, how do I make eggs? So to make so, eggs... It would be sick if you did like got a giant ass lathe and like turn them. If you made them like cool. uh, segmented out of different kinds of wood, and then and then yeah, that's a big lathe I bet though. Bet you I could do that rough to, though to fit this. Do it rough. Like same thing, but without a lathe because I don't have a big ass lathe. But you could get a lathe. Just get a Princess Auto one mm. or Harbor Freight if you're from the states. Same type of company. <laughs> Uh, you could do, uh, you don't necessarily have to have eggs. This could be a, a foyer, uh, centerpiece or something, depending on how you finish it. I imagine you painting it white and mm -hmm. having like some sort of, uh, abstract title to it, which will like contribute to the story of the piece. It's for the Cullen Art Art Festival in Sylvan Lake. Okay, I don't it's know like what that a, is. It's but... like an art walk thing that they're, this is the first year they're doing it. So oh, this is okay. going to be like out on the sidewalk. Okay, that. okay. So it's not necessarily for sale, but someone could buy it if they wanted to. I don't know what's happening with them after. Oh, okay, so you're making it for the, the Yeah, that event. there's five of us that are commissioned to build something. Okay, so they must have seen the other commissions that you got from the city of Red Deer then. Yes, it And then they were cool. like, oh, I'll get landed. Okay, that's cool. So you guys need to check out Unlimited Edition. I'll put all the stuff in the description and stuff again. And uh, yeah. Also, you're putting the finishing touches on our table, right? Yeah. So this is the table that we made. Uh, I had to go that evening, so we didn't quite finish the clear coating and stuff. So it's not quite done, but to you guys, it is done because you're in the future to us. <laughs> uh, 
But man, this is one of my favorite builds that that's cool. that I've ever done, or well, we've done. We've done a couple builds together. I'll put some pictures right, 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 uh, right here. I'll put a small one right there. Uh, yeah. So you also have these chairs over here, mm -hmm. and you're planning on doing something with those. Yeah. Pull them and out then of the dumpster. You pulled them out of a dumpster, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome going dumpster diving. You got the fridge mm -hmm. that you plan to do some, some stuff with. That'd be cool. So you guys got to check out what he's what he's gonna be working on because he's got some cool uh, projects uh, kind of on the go. And uh, I'm just trying to like pique some people's interest. Oh, you have this palette. So this is a different palette than what we used than this palette here, right? So it's from the same palette. Oh, it's from the same palette. Okay, so this is the pine? I think this is fur. Okay, fur. Fur, and what are those? I think they're fur as well. Okay, so fur. So we use the oak bits for this for this table. That's fur. We're gonna be using, uh, or he's gonna be using it for uh, his dining room table, which is gonna be so cool. It's gonna be like a rustic, but like perfectly functional and uh, smooth and nice, like proud to be in your home type table. But it has like all the cool writing on it and stuff. And then he's got some more hanging up here. I'm pretty stoked about that. So make sure you follow Unlimited Edition. And uh, maybe if I'm out here when you do that, we can make a cool video. That would be cool. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe you can convince him. If you guys start following him on, uh, on uh, Instagram, maybe he'll start a YouTube channel. Maybe. Makes sense. Makes sense. I like that. Yeah. It is a good idea. It was something about this. See this nest made of scraps. Like someone made a poem? Yeah. I'm going to go ask you. Okay. Okay, so I was just about to leave because his supper is ready. But then he was kind of explaining this. And I tried to get get this set up so, to, so you can hear it. He's kind of soft-spoken, so it's kind of hard to hear. But his idea for this is that it's a nest, right? So then we were kind of brainstorming what he could do with it. Came up with like a baby bird being put out here, still made out of scrap uh, plywood and OSB and stuff. And uh, the juices are flowing. I think he's going to have a really cool idea to bring this into full realization. I'm actually kind of excited and I'm kind of bummed I didn't think of it because it's a good idea. It, it's gonna be cool. Uh, I'm not one for abstract too much, but this is like abstract, I call it abstract realism, as in it's a real object that's made abstractly. So it doesn't look uh, exactly like the real object that it represents, but you can tell what it is. That's probably a style, and maybe you guys can explain to me what, what it actually is, but yeah, this is going to be cool. It's like an abstract bird in an abstract nest, and then the title will help tell the story of what it actually is. Um, I don't usually keep scrap plywood like this, but I think I may start doing that now. Um, People ask me what my inspiration is often, and uh, my inspiration comes from anything. So in this case, yeah, the inspiration comes from this, which was uh, Landon's wife's idea to make a nest, which is cool. He just went in to go get the uh, the quote that kind of inspired this. So like his inspiration came from his wife's, whose inspiration came from a quote or a poem or something, and then my inspiration came from from this, you know. So it's like a three-tiered inspiration train. It's kind of cool. We'll see what he has to say when he gets back, though. It's pretty interesting how art can uh, travel amongst people and then start clicking when, when like, in this case, three people come together uh, kind of nonchalantly. Uh, this was not intentional or anything, so it, it's, I don't know, it, it just makes my mind start going like turning gears and stuff, uh, wondering what I've missed in the past by not uh, having conversations that I could have had. 
Okay, I got the core. Okay. Okay. So, the quote that inspired me this was, You keep remembering the first time you saw a bird's nest held together by an old shoelace and scraps of a plastic bag. You knew the home of a person could be built like that. A lot of things you'd rather throw away. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, because why did you keep this? All these scraps. Like, plywood is not a very good uh, scrap, uh, like, keeping scrap plywood. That's mm -hmm. this small and weird shapes like this is not usually typical of makers, but you, you did keep it. I and kept it for some day. <laughs> I'm learning from you, Josh. Keep everything. <laughs> but I'm the guy who doesn't keep this. It's I'm glad you did because now I'm going to start because this has made me. Uh, I have ideas now. Yeah. It yeah. It's so. It's so like right now. It feels like duh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's a good idea. Yeah. So. Uh, mm -hmm. It'll be cool. Yeah. It will be cool. Anyways, you should go eat. Yes. I should go back home. Yeah, a couple hours away. <laughs> All right, home time. I'm glad that I, I waited for Landon. I actually was going to leave before he got home. I was uh, talking to his wife for a while. She's a heavy-duty mechanic, so we were just talking about mechanical stuff. I'm not a mechanic, but I, I, I like it. I used to want to be a mechanic. She's a heavy-duty mechanic. I wanted to just do... Uh, automotive but we were talking about that and then Landon came home and then uh, we started talking about the nest thing because uh, uh, I saw it in there when I went to grab the auger with uh, his wife there her name is Jamie anyways we started shooting the shit as they say and then uh, Landon comes along and then you know, stuff starts flowing. I love the, the creative process almost as much as I like, like the, the the creative thinking process, just as much as I like the actual making, like the physical making. It's actually quite a, I don't know if fantastical is the right word. I just, I just like learning and that's a type of learning and uh, growing artistically. Landon just started doing art like a couple years ago, I think. Uh, he may have been doing art before that, but he started his company, Unlimited Edition, around uh, other artists, and then he started just doing it himself because there were certain commissions that the city wanted or, or some, some company wanted, and if he couldn't get an artist or if he figured he could do it himself, because he is a skilled contractor, he would just do it and then he's become interested in it. At least that's my understanding. I could be wrong, but that's that's what it seems like. And then I often uh, collaborate with him or or at least do his shows and stuff like that. Uh, kind of cooperative or, or uh, uh, what would you call that? I guess uh, a group shows sort of things. It's, uh, yeah, he's a good dude to know. I mean, he's a good dude in general. It's not like I'm, I just, like him because I can use him for his uh, faculties like no I actually he's my friend so you know anyways I'm on my way home now uh, tomorrow I have uh, another random day I'm gonna see if I can finish my clients place maybe I don't know depends on if stuff is dry a plumbers coming tomorrow Rory's coming tomorrow and then if I have time I'm gonna go see Alex put another coat of mud on his place. But it all depends on what time restraints I have. I don't know what they are gonna be, so we'll see. I'm hoping that my video will be uploaded. I don't know why I keep mentioning the videos. I'm just so far behind, so I know where I'm at with videos, and I know that you guys keep asking where, why the vlogs are, are so far apart now, where they used to be kind of closer together. And I haven't had much time to do lives and stuff, but. I'm just busy and it's almost fall so I have a lot to do before the snow flies so I have to make more and more uh, uh, decisions on doing client work and stuff like that so it takes up a lot of time from the creative part of to creating art like paintings and, and sculptural work I haven't been able to do a painting in a long time and there's one that I'm almost done but uh, I 
it's on hold right now because I just don't have time to finish it. Uh, but I promise I'll get back to the commissions and uh, and the regular painting soon. The commission work uh, is on hold and I've let you guys know that it's on hold for now. But uh, I should be back at making your guys' sculptures and, and whatnot soon. Anyways, I'm heading home now. It's a two hour-ish drive back to my place. So, time to focus. Just kidding. I drive safe. Alright, made it home. It's already dark out and it's only 10.30. And like, the moon... I don't know if you can see that right there. It's already so high up in the sky. That means, uh... Seasons are a-changing. still warm out though. I'm wearing a t-shirt and it's, you know, it's decent. It's not raining anymore. I, apparently it's not going to rain for the rest of the summer, but that's probably not true. <laughs> uh, it's almost fall, so it doesn't usually rain in the fall too much. We shall see. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to get right into the bathroom now that I'm home and finish the uh, caulking and stuff that's basically all we have to do and then rory will be here tomorrow and he'll do his thing should be a good uh good day so i'll check in with you tomorrow all right i got it all in it's morning you might be able to hear hank barking that means that rory's here someone's here so i should get him he knows rory so he's not gonna do anything to him hopefully but just to be sure I'm gonna go make sure he says hi nicely. Just right about there. Right about there. So while uh, Rory is working on the bathroom, I am going to start working on the commission uh, deck planks, demotivational signs, and uh, some hang planks. While well, the hang planks are already done, I'd stockpile those so I don't bug the old hound too much. Uh, I just gotta put the my part on it, put the black around it. Is right we were on a roll but uh, the sink didn't come with a, a, a thingy thingy that's not installed yet that's this is just mocked up the, the sink doesn't come with a thing so he's ordering that hopefully it'll be here tomorrow so Rory left and he's gonna come back tomorrow uh, I got the signs painted I just need to wait for them to dry so that I can put on the black bits and I think my wood bits will look a lot better. Uh, throwback. I'm gonna go see if my client uh, will allow me to sand his garage today and basement, which I don't know why I said will let me. I'm gonna let him know that I'm coming is what I meant to say. So still gonna be a full day. I'm gonna go ahead there now. Man, I really need to shave. Close, do not enter. Or close, do not enter. I wonder if they're uh, serving gas right now. Doesn't say that they're closed. All right, so this is it. Didn't bring a respirator, which was a mistake. You normally wanna wear a respirator when you're doing this kind of stuff. But I got it all sanded out to a level three, which is uh, what you normally do a garage that's uh, yeah, only utilitarian and it has bad drywall or 
you know, different reasons. Anyways, client wanted level three, so got level three finisher ceiling as well. Um, I'm going to see if I can get over to Alex's store now. He's probably not there anymore, but I can still lay down some mud. I'm just going to tell the client that I'm done and get paid. All right, made it to Alex's. He's not here. So I'm here solo. The roofers, just as I pulled up, they were pulling out. So anyways, I'm heading into the back to do some. Oh, I left the light on. Just trying to pay mad, mad, mad bills. So the roofers finished the roof. Got pretty messy in here, but I guess that's somewhat to be expected. Oh, actually, I hear them outside just uh, using the magnet to pick up uh, all the nails they dropped. So anyways, I'm gonna get in here and do all the mudding in here. Okay, so first, this is green mud. Green, well, that's not green. There we go, green. And it, it well, the, the mud itself is not green. This is a good coating mud, so I just happened to have this left over from the other job. I didn't use it, so perfect to be able to finish up Alex's here. Okay, done. So, if you recall the last vlog, I said I had a surprise or a idea. I can't remember what I said exactly, but I had something in mind for this burlap sack. So now that the roofing is all done, when we come back on Monday, I talk to Alex and uh, the next day that I'm here is Monday and that's when I'll sand everything. And I'll probably put these burlap sacks on there and just go to We'll probably be doing soffit and stuff outside. I uh, just doing wooden soffit. Anyways, it doesn't matter. But anyway, I said I had something in mind for this. And I am wondering if Alex will uh, see it or notice it or if it'll blend in. I'm hoping it'll blend in somewhat. I'm not sure how it'll turn out. We'll see. But I got this plate made. It's a stencil. Uh, pretty thick stencil, so it'll probably be a wall hanging of some sort in my shop but I got this made by my friend Colin who has a water jet cutter or has access to one anyways um, we're working on maybe collaborating on a few other uh, at least prototypes for some toys and stuff but anyways he made this for me and I'm going to use this as a stencil to make that burlap sack branded like the rest of these and uh, we'll see if Alex has noticed Alex notices. He doesn't watch my videos. Uh, he's a very busy man. So he won't see it here. And plus his video won't be out by the time Monday rolls around anyways. But I'm curious to know what he thinks of it. Okay, now, now that it's up, I imagine Alex coming from the front door and into here and like looking around seeing the progress that was done because I'm not gonna come here till Monday and he might come sooner I'm not sure but it's there he won't see it if he stands here because that light is in the way but like it looks pretty uh, natural there I have distressed it by sanding it with a sanding block there and then also adding uh, white dust to it so that it just like kind of makes it look older or and more distressed so on camera here it, it looks a lot darker than it does in person so i'm hoping that he doesn't really notice it right away or if he does notice it i don't know i, I want him to be like wait what because he doesn't know i'm doing that so i'm just gonna move this ladder so it doesn't look obvious all right yeah i'm excited i'm gonna see him again on monday that's the next time that i think he plans to be here he might be here sooner I'm not sure, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. 
You guys gotta keep it secret. If he ever mentions it, just don't say anything. All right, next morning, I got all these completed. Plumber's back, so he brought a, a helper this time. Uh, they're gonna finish up the bathroom. Got all the pieces, I believe. Finished up the orders for the Hanks planks and for the demotivational signs. This one is, uh, it gets worse. You can check out the uh, Facebook page for all the available ones, or you can go custom. And I know these are lame. They're supposed to be lame. That's the idea. These are a joke. But if you don't know, these are the way, or a way, you can support me. Uh, buy these for 10 bucks, Canadian. Uh, $10 reflects like the quality of the work. But they're kind of a joke thing that you can put on your whatever. Or throw it in the garbage. But uh, yeah, these are my old deck. And I am turning the cash into my new deck. Um, of course, it's not necessary. You can get one just for fun or not get one at all. But, uh, yeah, for all the new folks who may not know what that is, you can message me on Facebook or something like that, and we can figure out a way to get you one. So, plumbers are here. Uh, bathroom should be done today, uh, plumbing-wise. And then I have to just do a few touch-ups here and there, put the doors on the shower, and then I'll still have to build the bathtub. But that's going to be at a later date probably over the winter or sometime. I want to make it before I have the house finished, but after I have the shop here. I would like to build it in the shop. I don't want to build it outside or downstairs or up here. Um, so we'll figure it out. Anyways, I'm going to go see what they're up to. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'll probably be editing. There's one of them now. That's Rory. Do you guys know Rory? All right, I'm gonna leave now. Plumbers are doing their thing. Gonna take this to a guy who bought it. It's like a cool, we have a scrap wood reel to reel video camera. That was pretty cool. This is not made by me. That's made by other guys over at Foggy Mountain Forge. I'll put their stuff in the description if you're interested in seeing more of that. But I made this a long time ago and someone wanted to buy it for their friend for their birthday or something. So I'm gonna meet up with him later. But uh, I'm gonna check in with the plumbers and say bye to them. Looking pretty good, got this all in. They did get a uh, one that matched this for in here, but it was, uh, didn't fit with this type of sink. And here we used a kitchen faucet rather than a bathroom one, just cause we wanted the taps to be a little bit higher. This is already kind of low and uh, usually you would have like the tap come out of the wall, but this is an outside wall and the pipes would freeze here where we are. So we don't put it in the wall. I'd have to build a pony wall and then I would lose space in the bathroom. I didn't want to do that. So to get around that, just use the kitchen faucet and it's actually pretty good. So they're just doing all their uh, plumbing and stuff. That looks so cool. I like it. The drawer is still functional. All these drawers will be functional. They will just, meet that so it's pretty pretty wicked smells like crap in here right now all right so uh i'm running out of time i gotta go get hats speaking of hats check out that sick hat uh there's none left that was one of the ones that i was hanging on to for myself but it just looks so good so you had to have it so uh rory's gonna finish up here if people want to uh get at you to do job for them locally or do you travel i know that you travel somewhat at least how do they get a hold of you? 
Uh, then get a hold of me at drmechanical.ca or drmechanical.com or on our Dr. Mechanical Instagram. Excellent. I'll put all that info in the bottom. Bottom? No, in the description. <laughs> it's looking good so far. It's coming along. There was a little couple of hiccups, but eh, doesn't matter. Looks good. Anyways, I gotta go. Thanks a lot, Rory. So, uh, yeah, we were just talking about hats there, right? I have to go get the hats that Ashley designed. So, that's exciting. It's her freaking birthday, and now they're available on her birthday. What are the chances of that? Awesome. Okay, so I just got. I just went and saw the hat people and the hats suck. They're such low quality, I don't even want to show them. Like, look at that hat that Jared has on. Super good quality. They did such a good job on those. These ones are trash. I waited two months almost for them and they're absolute garbage. So, I'm so sorry. I thought I, thought I was gonna end this video with a teaser for the hats, but I'm not. Uh, I am so disappointed. You don't even know. If any of you know of a place who are local to me, uh, a place that I can get high quality hats made that won't take two months to get. I shouldn't say it's two months, that's not fair. It was like a month and about three weeks. But still, that's way too long. Uh, I like those hats, but I'm not using this company again. Uh, the guy I was dealing with, great guy. Nice and friendly and mostly professional, I would say. Except for the time wait. And I'm not sure if it was his fault or not, but I just can't. I can't sell these. Plus, they were super expensive. They're thirty dollars for one of them. I would have to sell that for a ridiculous amount to make any money off of it. Um. So, yeah, a bummer that that's the outcome, but that's what it is. So this video doesn't end with a teaser. It'll end with a dance. All right. So after coming home and seeing the hat. Uh, bo both hats together. The one hat looks like trash, and that's the one I was focusing on mainly. But when I pulled out, stick almost got me in the eye. This hat that Ashley's wearing, it actually looks. Watch your face. <laughs> it actually looks pretty good. So this hat is good. It's the wrong color, but that could have been fixed easily. I'm still not happy with the amount of time I had to wait and all that kind of stuff. Like it was, it's a ridiculous wait time to expect anyone to wait for like what it like how did I don't, doesn't matter so uh, I'm still not gonna go with that company most likely uh, I do like this hat so I'm gonna look for another company that finds it and uh, that provides a better quality this hat it, it looks nice and it fits nicely and I think that it only comes in this quality it has the ponytail hole and stuff and it it looks it looks good. It looks it looks really good. This hat here, this one's one I've worn many, many times, and it, it looks good too. But it just quality means a lot to me. This hat is good quality, this hat is good quality, but the other hat, not good quality. Not good service. I'm not going with them. I'm so sorry for the folks who have been waiting for Ashley's hat to come out. Um, we're actually walking the trail. The reason why we're walking the trail is because Dakota's here and he's just checking out the gopher trap. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> and uh, so Dakota actually came up with this kind of sort of thing. And Dakota is the one who kind of like uh, put it in the computer to make like the whatever, so, so, sort of like that. So um, we, yeah, I don't know if that's relevant. It doesn't matter. I mean, thanks, Dakota. That was awesome. <laughs> but, uh, um, the main issue here is that I was pretty bummed about the, the hats. The other hat looks bad. I don't even want to show it because it's just, it's embarrassing. This one is good. I just didn't look at that before. And I just wanted, I think it's uh, more fair if I am clear on that to the company. I'm not going to say their name again. I was promoting them in past videos, um, but I probably won't anymore. Um, I didn't actually speak. Watch your face there, babe. I didn't actually uh, speak with him when I went to pick it up. He wasn't there, uh, the guy who I normally deal with. So perhaps he didn't see the quality here either. I don't know whose fault it is that, that it took so long. I don't know any of that sort of thing. It's, uh, it's unfortunate and 
it is what it is but I just wanted to just clear that up just so no one uh, you know thinks ill of of anyone if you want to use that company you're totally welcome to that's it we're gonna enjoy the rest of the trail now Dakota hasn't seen it yet so we're just taking it along so uh, if you're interested in the hats please just be patient as I try to find a better uh, better service I guess with another company or if we can rectify this with the other company I'm pretty sure they're not gonna want to work with me after this video but who knows we'll see thanks for watching I really appreciate it in the meantime if you want other branded merch check out my teespring all that will be in the description I really appreciate your guys' support. Peace. These eggs, dude, sick. What is this, some kind of bird? Top flight, it's a bird.